Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to talk about how you can synchronize iCloud Calendar and contacts with your Thunderbird. And recently, the new Thunderbird version 128, I think, came out and it now supports iCloud directly using CalDAV and CardDAV. You do, so you don't need an additional extension. So all I'm showing in this video is also available here in this blog post. I will put the link in the video description. Okay, let's get started. And now we set up the calendar. For the calendar, we go into Thunderbird, click on calendar here, and then we select new calendar. And in this dialog here, we select on the network, click next. And now we have to enter our iCloud username. In my case, this it's this one here. And as you can see, automatically it fills in the location iCloud.com. Um, and if you can, but you can also copy this link here, https caldav.icloud.com. This also works. Okay, let's get back to Thunderbird. Here we go. And we click find calendars. And now we have to enter a password. And this is not the regular password you are using to log in into your iCloud account. We need to create an app specific password. So I will do that here. So in this, I've already logged in here into my Apple ID, Apple ID .apple .com. Sorry, it's German here, but in English, it's the app specific passwords shown here in this section. So just click on it. And now we can create an app specific password. And for example, we can enter name here, Thunderbird calendar, for example. We could click create. I have to enter my password again. Okay. And this automatically generates us a random password here, which we can now use to access our calendar here. So this is a specific password only used for this application or for syncing our calendar here. So I've copied the password. I paste it in here, click OK. And now it should find my calendars here and I can check them or uncheck them and hit the subscribe button here. And here we go. My calendar is now synced. I can see uh, some entries have been showing up here and I can also create new entries here and these are automatically synced back into my iCloud account. And that's for calendars. For contacts, this works very similar. We go to contacts and we create or add a new card DAF address book here. And it's the same procedure. I just enter here my iCloud, iCloud username and the location is automatically filled in. I hit continue and same procedure. I have to enter the password and I need to create a new password here. I cannot reuse the password we have been using for the calendar. We have to recreate it. So I will just create another password here. Thunderbird contacts. Okay, create. And I will copy this one here and paste it in here. And as you can see, this did not work. So it usually takes a few seconds here. And as you can see now here, we have this available address book here. And if I hit continue, my address book is now synced here. And I, of course, I can reverse it. I can just remove the calendar here if I do not want to use it again. And in our app specific password section, I can also revoke the access here. So these passwords you just have seen in this video can no longer be used to access my calendar and contacts. And basically that's it. That's how you can now easily configure or synchronize your calendar and your contacts here with Thunderbird. And you don't need an additional plugin or extension here. Okay, that's it. Bye.